everybody and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you part two of everything i've ever colored hopefully the lighting's okay because i just started filming it but the sun is out which i'm grateful for however it casts a really weird shadow on my table um and if i drew the curtain it was just too dark so i do have this blind however i don't tend to use it because the cats well they shred it so <laughs> they've completely shredded the bottom part off however i've pulled it down and although you can still see a bit of a shadow, it's not as bad. So I think we should be fine lighting wise now. Anyway, so we're going to get started. Um, again, I'm hoping that this won't be too long of a video. Um, so if you want to get something like a snack or a drink to feel comfortable whilst you watch this, feel free. Anyway, we're going to start with my Kinoko Ifisa book. So this is the first one, um, Rhapsody in the Forest, which wasn't actually the first one I ever got. Um, yes, yeah, so I think we can see a very slight shadow, but it's not, not as bad, which is good. <laughs> it was really bad before. So here is this one, which is the first one I ever did. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Did not mean to like whack the camera there. Hazards of having to film around the tripod. <laughs> and then I have this Halloween one. So then next I have this one of... A cute little cat trick-or-treating and then I have this double page spread which took me forever and a day um I've got this one with the owls oh um I've got this one from last year that I did for the Queen's Jubilee and that uh, is like really sparkly paint on it so I'm hoping because the sun is shining that is actually coming out quite nice um and then I've got this one, which I did this past Christmas. And it was really nice to do. And also just nice to genuinely finally get this one done. And then I also did this one. Um, and I painted the background in because it didn't have anything. Um, and I think that might be everything. Oh, no, it's not quite everything. <laughs> we have this one as well. Um, but that is everything from there. Apologies, my cat is on the table. She may make an appearance. So that's everything from Rhapsody in the Forest. Um, <laughs> just get a close-up of her face. Right, can you move out the way, Athena? Thank you. <laughs> she's gone now. Um, let's hope she doesn't pull the blind because she's on the windowsill. Please don't pull the blind. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to cry. Anyway, next I've got Many Wet Upon Her, which sadly, believe it or not, I don't, I haven't actually coloured in this entire year. Probably because I thought, oh, I've coloured lots in here. I'll do a picture and... Rhapsody in the Forest, Symphony Cute Animals, thinking I had coloured in one in here this year. However, it wasn't until I've, I've got a whip in here that I went back to that I realised, um, no, I have not coloured in here this whole year, which is really sad. So I have this title page. And then I think the next one is my Forever Whip that I can show you. Here is my Forever Whip, which before just had this little pig done and I have done more. Thanks to KP, she did hers, and then I was like, I felt the motivation to do it. And then I was spared more on by the fact that I hadn't coloured in this book in like a year. So here we go. It's nearly finished. Um, you'll see the completed one in my completed pages for September. So you won't have long to wait. Next, I have this one with the two little cats, which remind me of my, my little cats when they were little kittens. Um... So I have my bunny page, which is one of my favourites in this book. Um, then I have this one with some lovely shiny paint for the fireworks. And I've got this one, this beach one, which was a couple years ago, which I really like. And then I have this one, which I think I did last autumn. Oh my gosh, please don't tack the blind. <laughs> The sun ironically has gone back in now, but I don't know how long for. Anyway, here's the first one I ever did, which I would love to redo again one day. Not that there's nothing wrong with that one, it's just, you know, I would like to do it again. And then I have this one. And I've got this one. Oh, I've got this one here, the Alice in Wonderland chess one. Um, I've got this one. And that's it. That's it for 
Uh, many works upon her. So I have done quite a few in here, which again is probably why I thought I had coloured in it, but I haven't. So next I have Symphony of Cute Animals, and I have done a few more in here this year, which is really nice. Um, it does help that KP and I quite often do body colours in these, so we kind of encourage each other to colour in them. So I have this one. I really would like to get the English edition of this just because it's the same size as the other books. It's not like little. Not that I don't, I don't mind this one being little because it means it, a bit quicker to do the pictures but at the same time I also would like it the size the other ones are to match it so I did this one this year and it's one of my favorite floral ones I've done for quite some time I just oh, I just love how it came out it looks vibrant and beautiful and I just love the poppies the most because I don't know why I seem to rather love coloring poppies in and I've got this one here which is quite sweet again um Oh, I'm gonna have to go get her off the window, I think. Um, I got this one, which was Buddy Cutter with Pick KP for this current autumn, and she has just finished doing hers, so yay. Um, I've got this double page spread, which I think also was a Buddy Cutter with KP as well. Quite a lot of these were, to be fair. Um, I think that is everything I've done from this one. I'm just gonna go get my cat off the window before they she decides to ruin my blinds more. So I know. We're gonna get down from there though. Good girl. Hopefully she won't go back up. <laughs> right, next I have got um girls colouring book and it's like a ballet one. I can't remember what the actual title is, but it follows two girls, a girl called Manon and Sylvia, I think. One's a professional dancer, one's just starting their ballet journey. Uh, it's a very cute book. Um I have done this one which I really love. It's so cute. There's some really cute ballet pictures in here, so hopefully I will do a few more. I have done, oh, this would be a nice one to do. Are they, oh, all those roses. I don't know if I can be bothered to colour them all in. <laughs> um, well, this one would be quite good for autumn, actually. So I'm like getting myself, um, I can't remember even think about, I'm basically distracting myself. There we go. Um, so I've done these two, the Firebird and La Bayadere. And again, at some point I will do the other two pictures as well. Maybe, I feel like it would have been nice if I painted the backgrounds as well. But I think it's a quite, actually no, I probably could go around the feathers. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll think about it, but we'll see. Um, and then, doo -doo, I know I have a two more i think in here I've just got to find where they are oh they are actually here so there's this one of the nutcracker and this one of one of the snowflakes from the nutcracker and obviously it has got lots of metallic and shiny paint on there because why not and i think that is everything i have done in this one so hopefully it won't be too long before i come back to doing something in there oh she's on the windowsill again just gonna try my patience <laughs> right i have this sweet treats book which sadly i have not colored in um and i think the next book after this i have not colored in in a year either um so let's have a look and see what i have done and then hopefully it'll inspire me to come back to it so here's the england one with the afternoon tea i've got this france page with some lovely treats the thing is i think when if i ever color this in it just makes me want the sweet treats because i love sweet treats and cakes and things so i'm just going to get an inadvertent flip through of it whilst i try and find the pages um and then i think this these two are the last pages i have so this japanese page of sweet treats and savory treat snacks as well and that is everything sadly that i have done in this book so i do hope i will come back to it soon but again i can't i can't do them all unfortunately and um, this disney one i haven't done anything more to it so there's only two pictures in here which is this one of the netherlands and then this australia one which is at the back here and unfortunately that is all i have gotten done so far in this one and hopefully i will like i say come back and do some more right next we're on to a romantic country and i am pleased to say i have done 
quite a few pictures in the first tail after realizing that I had only done one picture in it the entirety of last year, which was really sad. So I have made it my mission to try to do some more in her books. And this one I've definitely done some more in. So we have got this double page spread here, which I did a long time ago. So I do have second copies in the Japanese paper of these books and I will eventually come round to doing them and it will look completely different, probably. Not all the pages necessarily, but I look forward to being able to redo some again. Um, um, this was a new one that I did this year, which was this one. And then I've got this one that I really like as well. Um, I've got this one, my lovely double page spread with the castle and Tinkerbell that I drew in. I really do like this one, it's really cool. Um, I've got that one, which I feel quite a few people have used. It's like a tutorial that I followed and I think a lot of people have done their castle this way. It's re it was really helpful though to like learn how to shadow stuff and I really like this guy, but I am never doing an all pencil background anymore again. <laughs> um, this is again an all pencil background, but I commend the people that have the patience to sit there and do it. I just don't. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and then I have that one with all the flowers. Uh, oh, I'm missing one. I've got my Halloween or oh, Easter one first. I've got Easter, then I have the Halloween one. And then I have the Christmas one here. And then I did this one last autumn with the rabbits and all the veggies. And I've got this one here with all the gardening stuff. And then lastly, I have this Christmas one, which I really do like how my snow came out. I think it looks really nice. So that is everything for the first tail. I have got the second tail. And I have done a few in here this year as well. So I have my double page spread here. Um, got a couple near the beginning. I thought this double page Christmas spread, which we did a couple years ago. And then I've got all the house sigils or sigils or coat of arms, coat of arms, I think. Me and KP again did this as a Betty colour. Um, very much felt inspired to do those after I had done this page. I then was like, oh, maybe I'll do these. So then we decided to do it as Betty colour. So I have this one. Um, I've got this one, which is a very old one that I've done. I feel like it was one of the first ones I did in here. I don't think it's the first one, but it's definitely one of the few first ones I did. Um, I have this double page spread here, which again was, I think, one of the first ones I did in here as well. Oh, this was the first one I did, I think, this one with the gazillion objects. Um, so yeah, there's that one. I really do like that flower fairy we just briefly saw there. Um, I have done this one with all like, it's like an apothecary, I guess. And then I've got that one here. I've done this Easter witch one. I've got this Halloween one here. And then this owl one here. Oh, that was very wrinkly, that page. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't mind if they're a bit wrinkled. I know some people do do mind, but I don't mind so much. Um, I've got this one with the stationery, which I think I did this year, or this past year. And then I've got my pancake party double page spread. Really like how that one came out. Um, and then I've got this one, the Queen of the Clock. Um, and is that everything I've done in this one? That is everything I've done in that one, so quite a few in there and then i've got the third tail and again i have managed to luckily do a couple in here as well which is really nice because i didn't feel like i'd shown these books enough love the last year so we have this one and then got this ice skating one this double page spread that i did this year with all the paintings so it did take quite some time to do but 
So I'm glad that I got that one done. And I've got this on page spread, which again, I really enjoy doing. Like I really like the colours and how everything came out and I was able to just about use some gouache on it before the paper started going funny. Um, I've got this one. That one. The Sar Sariaska Island. And then I think this was the first one I ever did in here. Um, um I've got the you I still have no idea how you pronounce that. I've never come across in any language a U and an I and an S next to each other, and I have no idea how you say it. So this island. <laughs> Um, and then I've got that one, which very much reminds me of Venice. Uh, my very bright trees, <laughs> which did bleed through, sadly. Oh, I, I've got this one, which I did for my birthday this year. And then the springtime. And this is the one that I have most recently finished with all the flowers. And I did use watercolor just very lightly, but I was able to just about get away with it, which is nice. I would actually really quite like to do this one because I just I really like flowers. I don't always want to do loads of flowers. I like it when they're different flowers. When they're the same flower over and over again, then I'm not a fan. Um, so I've got this one with the witch's hats. And that is everything from The Fur Tale. So again, quite a few. So next I have Erie's Trace Around the World uh, colouring one. And I have done a couple in here. I actually really want to come back to this one and choose something else to do in here because there's so many nice ones. Okay, so I've got this Italian one and New Hound, which is where I went to on my holiday. I did visit this uh, harbour, which is very famous in Copenhagen. Um, Iceland, I've got Finland over here, which maybe one day I'll hopefully get to Finland. It's one of that Finland and Norway, the two Scandinavian countries I have yet to go to. Um, I've got this one in Japan, and Australia was a new one that I did this year, and I have got um, it is. Oh, what's it like a chameleon paint i love it it's in i don't know about for you but for me it's like dark green here light green and then yellow um it's really cool sorry i'm just admiring the fact that it's showing me all those beautiful colors um and i've got hawaii a place i have yet to go but one day one day i'll visit hawaii so that's all of those um this is the festival one i don't know if I've coloured anything new in here. This one I don't like as much, to be fair, out of all of them. It's my least favourite. Um, that doesn't mean I won't not ever colour in it. I just won't colour in it as much because, I don't know, I just don't feel as inspired. So I've got the St. Patrick's Day one. St. Paddy's Day. Ooh. And we have this Pow Wow one. And, oh, I should do the Oktoberfest one because it is currently Oktoberfest. Um, and then this Japanese one. I have a feeling that might be maybe all of them. I felt like I also had one more in there, but I guess I've only done three. I'm just going to have a very quick flip because I thought I had done another one. No, I guess not. Just those ones then. Um, and then I have the... Trace around the world history, and I have done a few in here. I do really like, like this one actually, probably because I like history. So it's got this opening page, and this Egypt one there. So very much do you like Egypt. Um, I've got the Joan of Arc which I think I did last year, that one. And then I, this was one that I did last year, um, which 
wasn't in my last video if you know what I mean um and it is of the the French like measuring system like liters grams meters which is what most of the world use these days um the metric system there we go I had to think about what it was then um and then I have this one of the Royal Mail and that's it that's it for that one okay next we have travel around the world heritage so you'll be able to see these a bit better the the pictures that aren't coloured in because um we have a line up so I've got this one of afternoon tea and then I've got this Venice one um and then I have my Athena picture very much like that one um I've got my Christmas one of a Christmas market in Germany somewhere I don't know where in Germany is but it's somewhere and this is a recent one that I did I think it's Morocco I think it's Morocco and then I've got this one of Quebec City in Canada and that is everything I have done in that one are you ready for the next one this is the one that I have done an insane amount of pictures in I think this is the one apart from seasons seasons I've colored the most in this would be the one the second book that I've colored the most in <laughs> I think out of all the books I own. So this is Beyond the World Fairy Tale by Aries. It's all the fairy tale pictures. And generally speaking, I colour in it at least once a month. I haven't actually coloured it in for August and I haven't yet coloured in it for September either. So I have the these two Cinderella pages. So we have this one and this one, which I think last year I'd only just started her. I hadn't actually finished her. So we got Puss and Boots. I've really had to, I almost said Tom Kitten. That's not even the right <laughs> Like, story, um, Sleeping Beauty, I am very tempted to do this one, maybe next, um, not home central. And then I've got this one of, I think, Rose, Rose Red and Snow, Snow White, I think. <laughs> um, it's a story that I'm not as familiar with, but I do know about it. Here's Thumbelina. And actually, I feel like after having visited Hans Christian Andersen's house and the museum, and this is a story that he wrote, I am tempted to also do this one the other side, just to be like, you know, his little memory. And he also wrote the Snow Queen, so I've already done the Snow Queen pages. So I've done this one and this one. Um, and then I've got the Little Mermaid, which I've also done, already done as well, which he also wrote. So this Little Mermaid, and I did, I think this is Ursula's Lair, so I did that one recently. And then I've got the little matchstick girl, which is again, Hans Christian and in story. So I think all those last ones I'm just showing you are all his stories. Now, this is from obviously A Thousand and One Nights, Aladdin. So I have um, got this one. And I also am thinking of perhaps doing what the one of the other ones next from that. So I've got Alice in Wonderland. I really like the colors I did for this one. And then I've also got the tea party there yeah, at the Mad Hatters thing. I've got the secret garden. Obviously, I need to do this side at some point as well. I've got, done Jack and the Beanstalk. And I've done this Easter themed one here. I really want to do this one with three little pigs. I know it's double page bed, but I really would like to do it. Um, and then I've got the Wizard of Oz. And I've also done this one with all the different fairies. Is it? Witches, fairies, I don't know. <laughs> I think they're witches. Yeah, because it's Glinda the Good Witch, right? Yes, yeah, so they're witches. And that's everything I've done in this one. So no doubt there'll be more in there. Especially next year when I, when I film this again, you'll see a lot more. And here we have the magical fairy tale world place. It's the, got the most ridiculously long name in English and I can never remember it. So it's like real places slash mythical places. Um, I really want to do... My next picture I want to do in here is this one. I know summer's just gone, but I really want to do this one. So that'll probably be the next one you see I've done here. So I've got this Halloween one. And I will obviously do a couple more in here for upcoming Halloween. It's coming up soon. Um, I've got this lovely spring themed one. And then I've got this one done, which was the first one that I did. And she has got lovely shiny hair. And then 
Do, do, do. I've got my Maui one, which I really liked, how that one came out, and my Alexandrian Alexandria Library. I do want to do this one. She reminds me of Cleopatra. I don't know if it's meant to be Cleopatra, but I'm going to make it be her. And then I've got my Glastonbury tour, which I did, I think I did this one last year. Yeah, I did. I did it last year. And that is everything that I have done in that one. Next, we have Fabiana's books. Um, they're not in any particular order, but I've got Alice in Wonderland first. So, I know I've done the page right at the beginning. So, I have this double page spread, which I did recently, of her going down the rabbit hole. And um, there is some metallic paint elements in there. Got the drink me bottle, her shrinking. There's so many pages I want to do in here, but a lot of them are double page spreads. I've got um, the caterpillar page, and then here's another one of the caterpillar. And here's my Cheshire cat. I've got the king and the queen of hearts. Um, Alice over here and I'm pretty sure that's everything yep that's everything for that one so next I've got the Wizard of Oz which is one of my favorite ones so I have done a few pictures in here so we've got this one which is very stickily it's a shame because um, I've got some later editions so the Alice one the Snow White one and I think my Peter Pan one don't have this page at the beginning. So it's only in like this, um, I think it's a publisher, I think it's a different publisher. This is WS Kids. And this one is Sterling. So if you had a Sterling one, then you don't have it. But if you had, also this one, can you see like how that is just like yellow? This is like a gold. So if it's got gold foil on it, you'll have the um, this page in there, which unfortunately, these ones do not, the Alice in Wonderland did not. So I've got this one, which I think is the first page. I think I did in this book, all done with gouache. Um, my most recent one, really like that one. I've got this double page spread here. I've just realized, what uh, did I forget to do guys? Paint that, because you remember last year and I was like, oh no, I completely forgot to go back and paint it. <laughs> So I will, I will at some point. I re remember when I did that last page, I realised, oh yeah, I need to paint that and I still haven't done it. So I will come back and paint um, that when I remember to. Um, and then I've got this one. I really like that one actually. I think I did it in ink tents, all these poppies or done in ink tents, which is not something I use very often um, outside of the Lizzie books. Um, I've got the Emerald City, which is uh, super sparkly. I had a great fun doing that one. Um, okay, we'll get on to this one, which, you know, Wicked Witch of the East, you're melting, sadly, for you. I mean, that's got to be like one of the worst weaknesses because you can never bathe because <laughs> you don't feel forever dirty. Oh my goodness, I wonder if she could go out in the rain. I guess not. Anyway, here's the Beauty and the Beast one. This is an Italian version. I do have the Italian version of this one and Cinderella because the English edition was out of print and I really wanted the books. So we have a family portrait. So I've got, I think I did this one recently and then this one I did a while ago, but I finally came back and did that one. Um, we got a double page spread of Belle reading. Um, I have got this one, which again, I put some shiny paint on there. Basic one, but it was quite fun to do. Um, I've got this one, which I really quite like. And then this one, I think, is a new one. There's a little bit of shiny paint on there. Um, I've got this one, and she does have stickles on her dress. I did this one as well. Um, and I think that's everything for Beauty and the Beast. Next I have Snow White and I've got this double page spread, which I think was the first one I ever did in here. It was that one. There's quite a few like pictures in here that like loads of people have like done. 
and I have yet to do them. This baby one being one of them. Um, and then there's another one as well of her, which I swear everyone's done and I have like still yet to do it. Um, I've got this one of her sleeping in their bed and they're like, what is she, what is like this person? Like, who is she? Um, I did this one with the ribbon. So I had to this, done this page already and then I finally went and did the other side and there is a bit of stickles on the witch's outfit, which is quite nice. And I'd forgotten I'd even done that. And I've got this one as well. Don't love the background of that one because it's just plain, but you know, I had to do something and I wasn't sure what to do. Um, and that possibly is everything, I think. So yeah, I haven't done as many. Oh, I lie. Here we go. We have this one of her eating the poison apple. And then I just remembered I do have the evil witch. There we go. Evil witch, evil queen, evil queen. I've got her as well. So there we go. And she has got some lovely paint on. I nearly forgot about those ones. That would have been bad. Um, okay, I have got Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> I don't think I've done anything new in here. Sorry, guys. This one I don't like is the pictures as much. Um, so I've done that one, which is very sparkly. Um, I've done this one, which was a recent one, but from probably like a year ago. And then this one I did ages ago. I've completely changed her outfit though. She does not have green. I don't know why. I just felt like doing it that way. Um, we have this one of Hansel. Um, yeah, there's too many like pages of like them in the forest. I think that's why I didn't like. I've got this one with them in the gingerbread house or finding it anyway. And that's probably it. Yeah, that's it for that one. <laughs> um, again, Pinocchio. I haven't done anything else in this one. Um, there's a couple of pages I really like in here, but I have just yet to get around to it. So we've got Geppetto, which would be the most recent one I've done in here. And then the only other one I've got, I believe, is of Pinocchio somewhere. Here we go. Pinocchio with the blue fairy. And that is all I have done in Pinocchio. Um, next I have the Cinderella, which is my Italian version, as I said before. I have done this opening page. It's quite different from the others, actually, because the others all have these like little circles. And the Cinderella one, for whatever reason, doesn't. Um, I can't actually remember what the um, Beauty and the Beast one looks like. I'll have to go and get it and have a look in a second. So we have this one. And I've got... This one, I really do like how shiny the background is. <laughs> oh my gosh, have I missed any when I did that? All that flicking. My double page spread of them at the ball. Cinderella running away. And then this one, I just put some gel pen over stuff, so nothing very special. And then I have got this double page spread, which I didn't do as a double page spread, I don't think. Oh no, maybe I did. Oh yeah, I guess I must have, because I've just realised I've got the same paint for the frame. So yes, I obviously did do it as a double page spread. And we do have stickles on her shoe. And that's it. Oh my gosh, I haven't done anything new in Cinderella. That's kind of sad. Okay, then I have Peter Pan which is the one I've done the most in because it was the first one I ever got. And I really do love this book. This is my favourite of all of them. There's I like more pictures in here than the other ones. So I've got this one of Peter and Wendy, Tinkerbell, this lovely double page spread, which is one of my favourites that I've done. I just love all the sparkly stars and just how the background came out. I just feel like it just is nice. Um, I've got this one. And guess what, guys? Just for you. I did this one because I realised when I was coming to film, oh no, I this will be the third year in a row where I've said, oh, I really want to do this page. So I made it my mission to do it. So I literally finished it like, I don't know, last week or something. I've done it, guys. I have done the hook page. You'll be pleased to know. So there's no no more me going, oh yeah, I want to do this one. I've done it. Um, the mermaids there, Tiger Lily and Smee. Tiger Lily again, which I think this was the first one I did in this book, that picture. Got Peter and Tinkerbell. Um, her wings are kind of a bit sparkly, but not massively. This double page spread of Tinkerbell. I think 
recovering from drinking the poison. I don't know. Um, um, and I think I have one more, which is ooh, this one, the family portrait at the end. So there we go. And then I have got Witches, Wizards and Magical Spirits. And I feel really bad because I have another book that goes with this one and I haven't colored anything in that one. And I have colored one thing in here, um, which I did last um, Halloween. And I need to do some more in here. So I've done Baba Yaga. There she is. <laughs> That's it. Um, okay, next I have the Mysterious Library. And I did actually do a picture in here, thanks to um, somebody on Instagram asking me to do a buddy colour. And sadly, I, I even saw it this morning, but I can't remember the name. I've already forgotten. I feel like it's Colourful Diary, but I could be wrong. Anyway, I very much appreciate that I've got another picture done here. So I have this one of Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> no, Rapunzel. There we go. Um, and obviously I decided to use the same gouache for the window there. Uh, would I ever colour that in? Probably not. <laughs> but it's there. Just in case, I guess, I ever fancy it. Um, and then I have got this one. No idea what story this is supposed to be, by the way. I just think she looks really pretty. And this is the one that we did. We did this one, which is really nice, actually. I really like all the colours. Like, it's a really nice wreath. Um, and then I have got this one, which <laughs> is the, it's just the fact that I just did all that in colour pencil. Mad, isn't it? How you wouldn't choose to do things like that anymore, but you did them. Um, that's everything I have done so far in that one. Who knows? Maybe I'll get another one done. The Magical Cities Next by Lizzie Mary Cullen. I think I've done a, maybe a few in here since last year so I've done the Baker Street one um it really is so nice that there's some new um Derwin ink tents as well actually because now I've got some lighter colors which is lovely so I've done this Japan one Soho Ooh. uh somewhere in France I think the globe and there is a little bit of stickles and some paint, glitter paint and things on that one. Um, I have got Portobello Road. This is a new one that I've done. There's a little bit of metallic paint here and there. And my very bright, garish San Francisco. I so really want to do that one. Um, yep, so we've got the International Space Station. And again, there's some stickles on the stars because I love just putting stickles on, on stuff in this book. Um, and oh, that must be everything. I feel like I do feel like I should have done way more in this book, but you know, I just never seem to. So, next we've got the magical journey. And I know I've definitely done a couple in here. Um, so. Oh my gosh, I was like, I know it, this near the beginning. So here we go, we've got this one, which is, where is it? Oh, Foz, Foz de Iguacao, Brazil. I'm sorry, definitely not pronounced that right. Um, there's that one. And then I also did this one, which is the youngest road in Bolivia, which I did that one as well. Next to it, I've got this one, which is, per is it Peru or Bolivia? Oh, La Paz, Bolivia. So there we go. On the road to where this place is. And then this is... Where? I can never... Like, she never puts... See, look, the these, the title of what this place is is never in the same place. And then I have to, like, look. Streets of Cusco, which would be Peru. Um, then I have got this one of them travelling to Tokyo. I really do like this one. This one's nice. Um... And I've got my Sydney Harbour Bridge one. And my Dinah one. 
with the stickles and that is everything okay next we have the magical christmas which i don't know i i can't remember if i did one this christmas or not i might not have actually um we have the oh no i think i have actually we've got the three wise men my lovely bright santa there i like all the colors that i did for that one um, oh, this is the one I did because I changed it to being the winter solstice instead of the shepherds seeing the angel. They are druids at the winter solstice because I thought that was kind of cool to, to do that one. Um, this is the New Zealand one and I love all the gel pen on the sea. It's really cool. Um, and I've got the Twelfth Night one. To do um, galleries, Lafayette, Paris. And we've got uh, the beef eater at the Tower of London, ice skating. I don't think they actually do that though. <laughs> um, the Sherlock Holmes one. And that possibly is everything. Yeah. So that's everything for that one. Tally Ho, I have done one in here since last year, which I really do quite like this one. Um, actually, I think it's right near the front of the book. Here we go. When it rains, it pours because we had a very wet summer, which was depressing. So I thought this was very fitting for that. Um, and then typical, the first week of September, it was like nearly 30 degrees every day. And I'm like, where were you when I wasn't working, son? <laughs> Um, I've got this one from, of Cornwall. I haven't been to Cornwall in years. It's very nice. Uh, I think I've just missed one. Here is the Stonehenge. Which I actually drew in the other book. That's what the Druid one I was on about. That is, this is where they go for the winter and summer solstice, which is hence what this is, I think. Is it? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> One of them anyway. Um, I've got this lovely canal. We have a lot of canals over in this country. And that is everything. And I've only done one still in Bon Voyage. Because I just don't feel this French one as much. It's just not as interesting to me. Um, so I don't think it was at Burgundy. I need to find where it is. Somewhere in here. Ooh. Where is it? Here it is. Burgundy. And I've got that one. Okay. And then the last two books, everyone, is... The books by Emily Leiderhall Oberg. So I've got fairy tales. And I was hoping to do one this summer in it, but I haven't. So that's a shame because there's lots of like summery ones in here. So we'll have to come and do one. I've got this one, which is quite a nice summery one. I think I did it in April. So not quite summer. I was just like trying to bring on the warm weather. And then I've got this one with the otters. So cute. Oh. This wardrobe, I think this is maybe meant to be the wardrobe, the line the witch in the wardrobe. I think I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like it is. And this is another story of with a wardrobe in it. I don't know. Um, and then we have this book one, my goldfish, and I do like how sparkly that one is. Um, my very sparkly frog which has just got an insane amount of glitter paint, which does flake off, sadly. Um, this was my first one I did in here. Quite like that one. And my bunnies. My, an, another bunny. Which is very nice. Um, and then I've got this one. This balloon one. Which hasn't actually been, got anything shiny on it. <laughs> Um, and then I've got this one, and um, that is everything for fairy tales. And then the last book is Sagna, Og, Og Sagna. And I don't know if I've done anything new in here, but we will see. So I've got this one. This one. My first one was this one in here, and then I've got my bunny, and I really do quite like how I did the background in that one, it's quite nice. 
Mm -hmm. My lovely gnome and fox. Oh, I do like this one, this one that I did, I think last summer. Very pretty. My white foxes. I've got this merman one. Give me real King Triton vibes, this one. Um, and that might be it. So yeah, I don't think I have anything new in that, which is quite surprising. Because I think that last one, I, the last one I showed you was the last one I ever did in there. So um, this is a good prompt for me to be like, let's colour something in this book. Anyway, that was everything for part two. So next I will be showing you all the Hannah Carls and Maria Troller, Clara McCove books. Um, there's an awful lot in all of those so that probably would take 40 minutes just to show you all of that <laughs> so this one's been about the same length as the last one so i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you soon bye